I am Josh, and today we'll be talking about the wonderful world of Disney, specifically Disneyland and Disneyland California Adventure. So the founder of Disney and Disneyland is Walt Disney. He was born on December 5th, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. That is over 100 years ago. He died December 15th, 1966 in Los Angeles, California. He created Mickey Mouse in 1928. His first movie was in 1937, and it was called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So here is a little bit of the history of Disneyland. The location is Anaheim, California, and it first opened on July 17, 1955. Disneyland was built on former orange groves. An orange grove is a place where people grow orange trees. You can see here in the bottom left, this was Walt Disney walking through the orange groves. And here on the top right, this was the opening day of Disneyland. So this is Disneyland today. This is a map. We will talk about each one of the special lands later on in the presentation. The first one I would like to talk about is Fantasyland. This is a land of fairy tales. This is where they have Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, the castle, and Peter Pan. This land is mostly for younger children. This is called Main Street, USA. It's supposed to look like the main street of the typical small town in America. It's lined with shops, food places, candy stores, and a theater. This is the first thing you'll see when you walk into the front gates of Disneyland. Now the third land is called Adventureland. This is supposed to resemble the jungle and there are rides like the Jungle Cruise, the Tiki Room, and Indiana Jones. This is a land all about adventure. Next is Critter Country. This is home to my favorite ride, Splash Mountain. It's perfect for when it's a hot day in the summer because you get splashed with a bunch of water. You can see here, there's people going down a big hill on a log. You can also find the Winnie the Pooh Bear ride here. The newest land is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Here, you can eat at the cantina, go shopping, or ride on the Star Wars ride. The next land is New Orleans Square. This is supposed to resemble New Orleans. It is a very famous city in the south of America. It is inspired by French architecture. So the buildings are French looking. Now, another land is Mickey's Toontown. And this is where you could find rides like Roger Rabbit. You can also walk through Mickey Mouse's house, Goofy's house, Chip and Dale's house, and Minnie Mouse's house. Another cool land is Frontierland. This is supposed to resemble the Old West of America. This is a saloon. 
Here, you can eat delicious American food like barbecue and corn dogs. And you could also watch a show where they sing songs and dance. Frontierland also has a roller coaster called Big Thunder Mountain. Next is Tomorrowland. This land is supposed to look like the land of the future. Here, you could ride in spaceships, you could drive cars by yourself, and you could go on another Star Wars ride. There's also a roller coaster called Space Mountain, which is one of my favorites. It's very fun. Now, Disneyland also has another park called California Adventure, and here's the map. We'll go over all the different parks in this theme park too. First is Bugs Land. This is supposed to be based off of It's a Bug's Life. And when you walk in, you're supposed to feel really small like a bug. These are supposed to be the grass and the four leaf clovers. Now, this is called Buena Vista Street. It's supposed to look like old time LA. This is what you see when you first walk into the park. Here, you can also find delicious restaurants, candy shops, an ice cream store, and fun places to shop and buy gifts. One of the newest parts of the park is called Cars Land. It's based after the movie Cars. Here, you could go on the Cars Ride, where you race around a racetrack out here in the desert. This is supposed to look like the desert of California and Southwest America. Another land is called Condor Flats. A condor is a very big bird. So here is a special ride called Soarin Over the World. It was originally called Soarin Over California. In this ride, you go up and your feet are dangling and you're facing a huge screen and you see the entire world. It's supposed to feel like you're flying like a bird. Now another fun land is called Grizzly Peak. This is supposed to resemble the mountains and the great wilderness of the western part of the United States. Here, you could go on a river rafting ride, as you can see here. This red thing is a river, is a raft. And you go down a big hill at the end. Also very fun for if it's hot outside. Now another fun land is called Hollywood Land. And this is where you could go on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, which is right here. It used to be called the Hollywood Tower of Terror. You could also watch fun shows like Frozen or Aladdin. And there's also the big Disney studio where you could see how they animate and make movies. Another cool land is called Pacific Wharf. This is supposed to resemble Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. Here, you can see how people make sourdough bread, a specialty food from San Francisco. You could also figure out and make tortillas, a specialty food of Southern California and Mexico. This land is mostly food and restaurants. Now my favorite land is Paradise Pier, and it's because there's this ginormous roller coaster. It is super fun. There's also another smaller roller coaster called Goofy's Flight, and you could go on this giant Ferris wheel. And that is all of the lands in Disneyland and Disneyland California Adventure. There are also other Disneylands around the world, for example, Disneyland Paris, Walt Disney World in Florida, Disneyland Shanghai, and Disneyland in Tokyo. There's also one more, Disneyland Hong Kong. I forgot about that one.